Okay, continuing, um, we just finished with Slackware here from part one. FreeBSD, FreeBSD, as I say, is not a Linux at all. It has a totally different origin, but like Linux, it's, it, it's a variant of Unix. Uh, it's part of the Unix family of operating systems. It's totally open source. It's cool. Um, actually, um, at one time, in the Portland area, we had many more um, BSD kernel developers than we had Linux kernel developers. And that's one reason why the Portland Linux Unix group changed its name. It had once been the Portland Linux users group. But we took account of who was doing kernel development. And there were more, Linux, there were more BSD people than Linux people, by far. So. Um, we changed the name to the Portland Linux Unix group and continued to be plug. And um, um, we could use all the same stuff since it had the same initials. But um, FreeBSD is pretty cool. Actually, the other thing to note about FreeBSD is that FreeBSD is the, um, um, the basis, the kernel for the um, um, OS, Macintosh OS X. It's um, FreeBSD stuff is widely used by Apple. And there's a lot of interplay between the BSD people and the uh, Linux people because many of the, you know, the applications will run on either operating system. You just recompile the source code and it runs or Sometimes you can get away without even doing that. So um, the two groups work together very closely. As an example, SSH, which is open SSH, which is used by every, anybody and everybody, is um, largely developed by the same fellow um, up in Calgary, Canada, that um, developed OpenBSD. So um, there's a lot of, you know, cooperation between the uh, various um, branches of open source Un Unixes. Um, remember, open source is more about cooperation than competition. So um, that's the way it is. OK, another place you might, uh, a fun place to look for Linux distributions is the website for Linux Weekly News, uh, lwn.net has a good list of distributions that they have kept for years. And um, there's leading distributions. There's um, distributions by country. So look at Slovakia. And we get a greenie as being a distribution that, well, let's see, optimized but for use by Slovak and Czech speakers. Um, and um, um, oh, China. China has quite a number of distributions that I've never seen or heard of, but they're popular in China, such as Red Flag. Um, they also have a lot of specialty distributions that they have di um, that they list. Um, uh, floppy-based distributions, distributions that will fit on a floppy drive or, or on a floppy disk or two. Um, uh, this one, uh, uh, Floppy FW, I've used at times uh, for building firewalls. It's, it makes a cool little firewall, and it all fits on a floppy disk. Um, let's see. Other, um, historical distributions, non-active. I've got one of those, or three of those, actually. I was at one time building the, a family of distributions called Netrolls, which unfortunately didn't go anywhere. But it was, I learned a lot. It was fun. OK. Um, at this point, let's go over, let's look at one more site here. And this is a site I just ran into recently. I mean, there's hundreds of sites that talk about Linux distributions. This is one called linuxbasis.com. And they list a lot of distributions and tell you about them. Um, 
uh, this site may be redundant on the other ones that I showed you. I mean, I, I really like uh, Linux Watch, or uh, I'm sorry, I really like Distro Watch, and I like the material up on Wikipedia, and I also like the uh, LW Insight, so this may be a little bit overkill, but I did add this in. Finally, there's a list called Live Distro List, and this is just a list of distributions that run as live distros and here we see uh, in other words they will run directly off of your DVD without um, uh, or CD without um, uh, writing to without destroying the hard drive these are really very handy Nopix is my favorite one of these uh, for general use and there are a lot of variants of Nopix for specialty use there's a Nopix for GIS there's a Nopix Oh, there's probably 10 Nopics for um, uh, doing um, troubleshooting with a computer that won't boot. Um, I, I do use some variants of Nopics as well as the general Nopics, and I also use some of the other live distributions. But let's, let's thumb through here, and there's, you know, we see most of the major distributions have a version that can run as a live distribution. Many of them, I think, are more like demos of their distribution. They're more like trying to sell you on their distribution than whereas Nopix and a few of the others are really meant to be used as live distributions. And, and that's why I prefer them for use as a live distribution. Um, although I've also found live um, uh, the the SUSE live distribution to be pretty good, sometimes because sometimes its video drivers are just um, seem to be better than other distributions. Um, um, so I've used it at times with machines that um, where the video just won't come up with other distributions uh, or at least other live distributions. Um, well, there's hundreds of these, as you can see. Um, that one's got an interesting name. Um, don't know what it is. Um, hundreds and hundreds. Flash Linux. That might be an interesting one, because one of the problems with Linux is that... Um, um, it's sometimes hard to display uh, videos with Linux because most um, Linuxes do not put Flash into Linux um, by default. You have to download that separately. The problem with that is that uh, the Flash is not totally open source, although it is free um, to download and install. But it's questionable whether you're allowed to distrib redistribute that in the United States and in Japan. So a lot of distros actually have uh, an international version and a US Japanese version, which um, has, um, uh, what do you say, which does not have flash in it. But if you manage to get the international version, it will run just fine. Um, uh, with, um, I mean, they all run just great, but some of them ha you'll have trouble with YouTube or with um, um, showing video sites because of the lack of Flash. Um, and then you'll have to install Flash separately and and then it should work fine. Okay, well that is um, that's that's really um, everything I had to say I just wanted to do kind of a quick run over of distributions and um, um, so have fun when you sometime when you have nothing to do take a look at some of these sites and just play around and take a look at some distributions and um, have fun with it bye bye